Movie Geek Griff here for the Captain America Civil War movie review. What's up, y'all? Hope you stay through the end credits. If you're not staying through the end credits of all Marvel movies by now, you shouldn't be watching this broadcast, this telecast, this review. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be watching any movies, comic book movies, turn in your nerd card, your geek card. Always stay to the end. I know there's at one time at Bandcamp that they didn't do one, and I was like, everyone was like, what the hell? Why do you do a post credit scene? But there is one, so stay to the very end. Okay. All right. Um, had to geek out a little bit, had to get some gear, as you can see from the movie, of course. Um, saw it in IMAX. I suggest you do the same if you have not already. What can I say? It's very rare, I'm sure you know, if you're a movie buff, movie geek, nerd, whatever, pop culture, it's very rare that the third installment in the series is better than the second. It's even rarer that it's that the third movie in the series does not tank the entire series. They did it in Spider-Man, the first trilogy of Spider-Man. They did it, of course, in Transformers. There's been a couple of threes where they all, the third one sucked. I can't remember the third one. There's another one. Shrek. There's one in 2007. That summer there was three threequels and they all sucked. Shrek, the Pirates, the third Pirates movie, and the Spider-Man, I think. So, usually in the third movie, even in with Marvel, Iron Man 3. <clears throat> to me, in my humble opinion, I hated Iron Man 3. Um, I don't know who else did out there, but it was written, written, directed by Shane Black, who did a whole bunch of Lethal Weapon movies, a uh, bunch of buddy cop movies, and Iron Man 3 felt like a buddy cop movie as opposed to a superhero movie, and there was a lot of jocular uh, Pratt Falls and stuff, which Shane, Shane, Shane Black's characters are known to do, and stuff like uh, Bang Bang, Kiss Kiss, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, um, a whole bunch of the buddy cop dynamic with Rhodey and, and Iron Man. Uh, RDJ as the suit was messing up and he just kept falling all over the place and just too much humor I hated Iron Man 3 um, Thor Ragnarok is next year so we won't know if the, if the trilogy curse follows for Thor but this Civil War man oh. this was awesome this will not follow the curse whatsoever did you get your comics for a free comic day yesterday on the 7th? Hope you did. I did. Um, I give it an A. A minus. Um, four stars. I'm sure there's some stuff that I missed plot wise, plot hole wise, but. And it was long. The movie's like two hours and 30 minutes long. It's not BBS long. BBS was almost. I mean, two hours and 26 minutes is almost three hours, but it's on the short end. I think BVS was actually like 10 minutes uh, shy of three hours. But, you know, Civil War is three out, two hours and 25 minutes. It doesn't feel like it. It moves along at a steady, nice clip, nice pace. Um, just, I don't know, man. I, it's so much stuff, I can't remember where to begin. Um, good score, good cinematography. Um, I don't have, do I have any qualms, any quibbles? No, I can't. There's just so much good in the film. So much good. Uh, the airport fight, dude. Up until this movie, up until this movie and before the first Avengers, where you saw everyone from when you were a kid, when you were a kid, you have these characters that are realized and are put on the screen that you've always kind of envisioned in your head and are only on the screen. So in Avengers 1, when they were all fighting at the end, and it, it did the, the panoramic scoping shot of all of them getting ready, looking up at the sky. And in the beginning, when Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America were fighting in the woods, those moments, you know, that moment is like, <laughs> you know, up until that one, before the Marvel, the MCU started, and you know Iron Man back in 2008. My my favorite comic book movie had been Spider-Man 2. I thought it was just the 
the epitome of what a comic book movie should be. Spider-Man 2 with uh, Tobey Maguire, Doc Ock. It was just great. It was awesome. It was, it was what a comic book movie should be. Um, the Dark Knight series was good. Very good. Um, 2 was a standout, of course, with the Joker. I didn't really like Batman Begins uh, and Dark Knight Rises. They kind of dropped the ball off with Bane and infinite plot holes. But, um, yeah. So now, this, of course, of course, Civil War is better than Ultron, of course. But that fight in the airport, all, all, the, all the characters coming together and seeing them on screen, doing their thing, this is the ultimate comic book movie of all time. It just is. Bottom line. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know how they're going to... The way it's left... Yeah, it had a Martha moment. A, a Batman vs. Super, Superman Martha moment. There was no names dropped, but there was a revelation. It was like a... Is, if you've seen it, you know. It's like a Kobayashi Maru... Uh, Usual Suspects, Kaiser Soze kind of, it was awesome. I've seen it twice already, and I saw it with my daughter, and I like watching reactions. If I've already seen a movie, I like people watching a movie, and I'm like, watch and see what they do with my daughter, you know, teaching her the ways of the geek. But she watched that scene, y'all know what scene I'm talking about, and she figured out what was going on. She did the classic, and I was just like in the corner like, <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. It had a Martha moment. It's the moment where you go, because I didn't even catch it until the, I caught it, but when I caught it, I was like, you know, I don't do no, <gasps> and I was like, oh, and the, the emotions across RDJ's face, priceless. So, yeah, yeah, it's a great movie all the way around, all the way around. Everybody contributed just right, just so to make it all work and mesh. I can't say any good things about it, dude. I just can't. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, T'Challa. Yeah, yeah, T'Challa is awesome. He's here. He's finally here, baby. Um, they kind of messed with the comic dynamic. I mean, they're doing you know, just like the Civil War itself. It's a whole different dynamic catalyst it sets it in an emotion but they changed the Black Panther backstory now because it's not it's claw is not as integral as he was in the comics now because of what happened in Civil War but they're still gonna make it work and I hope they still have claw in Black Panther movie um, Chad Bozeman T'Challa awesome 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 um, It's just great. It was just great seeing him on the screen, dude. Just awesome. Um, and finally, because we're running long, of course, it's a big movie, so this review runs a little bit long. But uh, Spider Man, Tom Holland, dude. Um, yeah. I, I wasn't sure about the little dude, but Tom Holland is looking like the definitive Spider-Man. I didn't think he was going to be in it as much as he is. I thought they were kind of just going to give us a little show and tell. I thought that one scene we see that we've all seen in the trailers and the TV spots, I thought that was going to be it. You know, just a quick hi and bye. Uh, he's in a pretty... He's in there for a significant amount of time during that airport battle. And what he does and the way he vocalizes the mannerisms everything of that character I'm really I was not looking forward to another iteration of Spider-Man but now with Tom Holland seeing what he's got seeing how he brought that character to life again with like a fresh whatever because he's our third iteration after Toby and uh, Andrew Garfield I'm really interested to seeing what he does with it because the kid did good as Iron Man would say. Um, yeah. So go see it, dude. Civil War. Um, I don't know what you're doing here watching my review, man. You should have already seen it. Or be going to see it right now. Movie Geek Griff for Civil War. Go see it. You will not be disappointed. I'm out. You guys take care.